When he crashed his pickup truck into a minivan, killing the driver, he was going nearly 80 miles an hour. His blood alcohol level was .19, both more than twice the legal limits. Paul Venema reports that those were among the statistics given to the jury today during the intoxication manslaughter trial of Caleb Fajardo. When this pickup truck, driven by 19-year-old Caleb Fajardo, crashed broadside into this minivan, his blood alcohol level and speed were both above the legal limits. There more than likely would have never even been a, a collision at all if it, had he had been traveling the speed limit. Testifying during Fajardo's trial on intoxication manslaughter charges, Detective Boyle, an accident reconstruction expert, said besides speed, there was a second contributing factor to the fatal crash. I think the intoxication is why the speed was there. I think it was a judgment issue. 61-year-old Silvana Sandoval, the minivan driver, was critically injured and died two days later. Doyle said that judgment was also a factor in her decision to exit a parking lot on Director Street. When you see someone a far distance down the road and you there's a speed limit of 30 and you assume they're going 30, you feel like you have plenty of time to pull out. Fajardo's lawyer suggested that Sandoval pulled onto Rector Street fast without looking for oncoming traffic. But he didn't challenge the fact that his client was speeding. Fajardo's speed here along Rector Drive was a factor, no question. But prosecutors insisted that his level of intoxication is what caused the crash. Paul Venema, KSAT 12 News.